one thing I like about being a Texas realtor is I get this cool little magazine uh, every month. And it has a lot of infographics in here. And uh, I was cruising through here and I saw some interesting facts that I want to share with you because as a home buyer or home seller, this may hit home. So the length of search before locating a home purchase, 62% of, of buyers took two to 12 weeks, while 7% did it in one week and 31% did it in more than 12 weeks. So most common compromises, 23% made no compromises. That means 77% of people um, compromised on price, condition, lot size, home size, and style of home. The least common compromises were school distance, school quality, and quality of the neighborhood. 91% uh, of buyers were satisfied with the buying process. 52% uh, of them were very satisfied and 39% were somewhat satisfied. 84% of people say buying a home is a good long-term financial investment, and 42% of people say it's better than stocks. Yeah, well, you never know when a company's gonna go out of business. Do you still have some stock in Sears? Who knew? Uh, so financing, cash, 11% of buyers paid cash, 80% did FHA, VA, or conventional loans, 6% did adjustable rate mortgages and 3% did other. So like maybe like USDA or owner financing. So when asked if experienced discrimination during home buying based off of race, color, religion, sex, disability, family status, national origin, or sexual orientation, 31% of the people said no, but they believe that it happens. 5% of the people said that yes, it happened to them, which is sad. Uh, hopefully it is a, a perception and not reality um, because we do a lot in our real estate business to follow the fair housing laws that prevent discrimination for those categories. 31% uh, of all buyers were first time home buyers. So congratulations if you're a first time home buyer. Super scary, super exciting, right? Um, so um, how buyers found an agent. 46% said that they were referred by a friend or a neighbor, and 14% said they used an agency pre uh, the agent previously. 7% said website, and 7% inquired about a specific property online. Uh, what buyers want most from real estate agents? 52% said finding the right home. 24% said help with negotiating price and terms and 8% said determining what comparable homes were selling for. Now, only 72% 70, of people only interviewed one agent. 71% uh, would definitely use an agent again. Um, and then 18% said probably would, so that's 90, 89%, so pretty close to 90%. 85% said that they were very satisfied with their agent's honesty and integrity, which is good to hear. 11% um, were somewhat uh, satisfied, so that took it to 96. So a lot of satisfaction with using a real estate agent. And the top method for contact was 23% of people used a phone call. That's down 14% from 2022. The most important factors when choosing an agent were experience, honesty, agent as a friend or family member, and then reputation. I'm gonna pause real quick, okay? It's cool if you want to support a friend or a family member, but uh, make sure that they're right. They know what they're doing, okay? If you have a friend that just got their real estate license and then you want to go buy a house and use them, you know, just be careful. They may not know everything because the school doesn't teach them how to be a real estate agent. It teaches them how to pass a test. So just be careful just because somebody's a friend or family and here's the quickest way to get out of that let's say this let's just assume i'm brand new and you wouldn't want to work with me for some reason be like hey dave i value our friendship so much that i don't want to let any kind of money or anything get in between us because even though i have this house and you may have made some money I just, if we had some issues, I, I don't want that money to come between us. I value your friendship more than a house or something similar to that, right? Let them down easy, right? It's not you, it's me kind of thing. 14% um, of buyers were single females. That's pretty cool. 
Uh, 19% uh, of buyers are veterans or active duty service members. Thank you for your service. Uh, in 2023, the age, uh, the median age for buyers was 49 and 2022 is 56. That's 13 year job. That's pretty, pretty good. Household income in 2022 was 110. Now it's 121. Uh, purchase price in 2022 was 288 and the median now is 350 in 2023. And then home sizes grew a little bit. The median was 1900 square feet in 2022 and is now at 2000 and 73 square feet. So there's a lot of cool little facts about you know what happened last year. So if you have any questions about specifically what's going on with you and your area, let me know.